name is Yoram Sager and I'm the CEO of Video Inform. Video Inform uh, was founded by a highly motivated uh, group of uh, mathematicians and engineers. And uh, we are developing a software uh, called Artificial Profiler. What is Artificial Profiler? It is uh, a cognitive uh, uh, vision engine that creates algorithms for the image understanding uh, tasks. These algorithms help us to understand objects and their behavior. Uh, with this cognitive vision uh, engine, we are trying to imitate the human object uh, recognition. Uh, Many years of research were invested in our project, and uh, uh, we have the support of uh, Mafat, uh, Israeli Ministry of uh, Defense. Example of use, like in aerial photos, we can uh, search the video. Some video. We can search in the photo, in the aerial photo, we can scan it and uh, find and classify the objects that we are interested in. This is a non-classified uh, aerial photo. Okay. Stem scan automatically the image and find and uh, put icons at object that we are looking at, in this case Israeli tanks, it can give the uh, uh, location, exact location of the objects and uh, such kind of unique uh, information about the object we are looking at. How we do it? Even for humans, it's very difficult to understand the object inside the box. Uh, but once we understand the context, it becomes very easy to establish that we are talking about scooters. The same context is used by our engine, con uh, cognitive engine. In this way, we improve uh, the accuracy of the system. Here, for instance, there is a detection of scooters done by our system. We can easily see that there is in the lower right bottom a mistake. Our system uh, 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 let the user feedback the mistake back to the engine. And by doing so, we create, we, we generate a new algorithm which is more precise, more improved. And we have learned that after few iterations of the user, we converge to a much more robust and uh, accurate uh, algorithm. This is examples to explain the complexity of uh, the same image, in this case, scooters, day, night, lights, and other uh, problems that we are struggling with. I just want to show you how we are using the same technology uh, with video, pen and tilt video. We can classify the objects, in this case, uh, 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 Israeli uh, uh, cabs, everyone who understands Israeli cabs, those are, uh, it can be any manufacturer, and in this case one has got a roof rack, even though we understand it is Israeli cab, or pedestrian in blue, or scooters in another color, and uh, with these tools we can understand the nature and the behavior of the uh, uh, objects we are looking at. Here you can see, for instance, the uh, dead scooter in red, because once we understand the nature 
of the object, we can track him and see the direction it moves or the speed. It was done in red because he was overspeeding. You can see down there the uh, uh, Israeli cabs, taxis, one's got roof. It's not the same manufacturer, but cognitively we understand those are, as humans, those are Israeli cabs. Imagine you can use this technology for, uh, from a stand-up position. We can classify all the object, in this case, buses in green, tracks in red, and this technology it can help us, for instance, look after a car, a specific car, running away from a crime scene. Okay. Once we understand the nature of the object, in this case, the field uh, is a pedestrian human being, we can also, with the same technology, understand the behavior. In this case, uh, we understand there is a street fight going on. We believe this technology is disruptive in the way we can use it in control rooms. It helps to uh, alert proactively the users and, and, and they put their attention to what's going on in a specific uh, location. <clears throat> we would like to use your grants to finance an installation in an urban area uh, for proof of concept and uh, to fight the perception that uh, video analysis uh, is not good enough. Thank you very much.